Hello world, this is Craig. When you get a board from me or if you talk to me, I'm always saying break the edge of the boards and I wanted to explain what I mean by that. When we talk about breaking the edge, what I'm talking about is this card edge connector part, the little fingers on it. These come in a couple of different flavors. If we get a gold plated board from JLC PCB, this edge down here is already going to have a little chamfer on it or a little bevel on it. The reason we want that little bevel is that when we put this edge connector into our back plane, we want that to have a little round edge or at least a little wedge on it so that as it goes into the back plane, it can spread the spring contacts on the back plane properly and not catch any of them. So on a gold plated board from JLC PCB, there's an option to say, do you want to have a chamfered corner here or a beveled edge? And the answer is yes, so that you have that and it won't damage the, the uh, connector. Now, if you get a board from PCB Way, it'll say, do you want gold fingers? And you can say yes, but you may not actually be getting gold fingers. The reason that you can say yes to gold fingers is because there's another option that says, do you want to have a bevel put on this edge? So if you say yes to gold fingers, but you don't actually select gold, you won't get gold fingers, but you can get this beveled edge already done by the factory. And so that's just a convenient thing that doesn't cost any extra to get that beveled edge. But of course, if you actually want gold fingers on PCB way, you have to select, you have to say gold fingers, yes. And then later on, you have to actually select gold fingers. So don't get fooled into thinking gold fingers, yes, means you will actually get gold fingers on PCB way. But you can get the beveled edge, which is nice. So this board doesn't have a beveled edge. And what I do to put that edge on it is I just take a utility knife, I hold the board down really well, and I'm just gonna draw it across at about a 45 degree, and it'll take a little sliver off of that edge. So that you can see that little sliver come off. I go all the way across, make sure I go back and get the leading edge or the, the front part of it again. And then I just kind of scrape that until it's nice and smooth. So now I'm not actually cutting it, I'm just scraping it. So it's nice and smooth and then I'll feel it and I'll probably touch that up with a little file just at a 45 degree angle again. Just to dress that up a little bit with the file. Okay, so I'll do this long piece, I'll do the short piece and I'll flip it over and do the other side. Here's a damaged connector that I had on my back plane. I got some boards in and I was just anxious to see if it fit properly. So I plugged it in and sure enough, when I look back at the connector later, I could see that there was some damage to it. You can look at the top here and see the little spring contacts and the second one from the end. So I, I cut this in half with a moto tool and the contacts look different, but also they're completely missing from the little pocket here in the back that they spring back into. I plugged a board in that didn't have the chamfered edge and it snagged on that contact. If we look at it from the end here, and we can see that this is what the normal one looks like on the very end. And then we can see the one that is second in, it's just been snagged and it was pushed down and, and flattened uh, just to where the bottom of the board sat. So you can see that once that happens, it, it damaged that contact, it damaged the one on the opposite side and this connector is completely dead. And we have to uh, desolder it and try to get a new one in, which is not that easy when it's a 120 pin connector in these circuit boards. All right, so that's how I break the edge. And it's just a warning that when you are buying these circuit boards from JLC PCB or you're getting them from me or whoever you're getting them from, uh, there's just, just check them first to see if that edge has been broken. If it hasn't been broken, then take a utility knife and a file, or you could even do it with sandpaper. Just take that sharp edge off of that so it can spread the contacts of the back plane rather than uh, catching one, snagging it, and pulling it down and ruining your backplane connector. Okay, so that's just what I wanted to tell you today, that little advice on breaking the edge. If you have any questions, uh, let me know, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.